All right. Hello, everyone. Hello. I am back again. This is Jesse Bowen. This is our second interview, and I'm really excited. My team is working all weekend. We launched this brand new book, Till the Last, and it has hit uh, number one on Amazon in several categories, and it's also hit uh, number one nationally. And I'm here today with the one of the authors of the book. And, and if you missed our opening interview a couple of days ago, then we're going to give you just a little recap. But you know, we really want our authors to feel super excited about their books, about their opportunities, you know, about their stories and how their stories are making a difference. Everyone has a story. You just have to be able to get it out. And this is what elite publications, what we've specialized in, is to help people to be able to tell their stories or to be able to get an, a message out there that they feel is valuable. Again, my name is Jesse Boyne. I'm the president and founder of Elite Publications. And we have Navon and Kevin on today. And this is their book. Uh, Todd's not here, but till the last. And I just wanted to bring you guys on just to you know, just give a little overview of what we did the other day, just in case someone missed it. But also, you know, to congratulate you guys. I think Natalie's put together another video to show how, you know, uh, Kevin's story, uh, his book, you know, th this uh, memoir of his, of his journey and how it's actually impacted his life, the lives of others. And we did such a great job the other day. And we have one more next month is actually Authors National Authors Month. And I just wanna let you guys know, since you have hit, hit number one, uh, you're going to be a part of a presentation that we're honoring our authors that their books have hit number one bestseller on Amazon and international bestseller. Are you guys are you guys excited? Yes, we yes. are. Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. Well, well Nabon, why don't we start off? With, why don't you have? Well, I'm gonna have you do a much better job of introducing uh, Kevin than than I do. And again, you guys, your story is so beautiful. Uh, and let's tell, where are you guys located? Where, you, where do you guys live? We are uh, currently living in Fresno, California. Right, right. Well, that's why I said East Coast. I'm in North Carolina, but, you know, that hasn't stopped us from uh, working. So Elite Publications, we reach out around the world to help people to be able to tell their story. So why don't you in introduce Kevin, and we're going to kick off, and I'm excited about sharing with you guys, and this is the first time uh that uh you know the where we are right now so this is actually your second update uh on the book so why don't you introduce kevin for us again thank you to having us both of us uh on your uh talk show today my name is niwan i am really honored to uh be here with you and um hello everyone back there and uh everywhere in the whole world so we are in different time with our honor, I am going to introduce you, Captain Sunton Ratanakwan, the author of this book. And uh, I want him to just tell you a little bit about himself. So it's not so much you wanna go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, who you are, where you come from, what part of the country, what part of the world, let's say, because as a lot of people don't know where we come from. Hi, everybody. Hi, Jim. Uh, I am uh, Captain Sun Thon Lat Latakong. I am born in uh, Luang Prabang, Lao. And, um, I am a uh, work hard and uh, I serve for the, uh, my country it long, long time. And uh, that's why I want to say something to uh, everyone you know, for the uh, communists and uh, freedom country. What's the difference yeah. between the communism and the freedom country so that people can appreciate, you know, the, the freedom world that we have in this country? It's a, a communist. It's a way they talk. They don't uh, do like they, they talk. And there's, there's, it's a very uh, super light. You know, 
the communists. They are freedom country when they say when they want to the farmers, then they they, they, the they keep the farmers. So what he tried to say is the um, the two different world, the uh, communism, communism, um, you know, world. When they say thing, there's they are not keeping their word. They say one thing, they do one thing. So with the freedom world, like what we have here in America or in other world or part of the world, the freedom world. So when we promise something, we tend to deliver what we promise. So, you know, for those people who don't experience these two things, it's the, um, a lot of good thing, a lot of thing that, uh, you know, when you read the book, then you will see what he was talking about. He is not, um, you know, real good in express on how he feel, you know, uh, between the two country, the two mm -hmm. world. So, but because of the um, experience, the horror, you know, torturing with in the concentration camp for long period of time has been effect in his uh, ability, his thinking, his speech, his memory, in the uh, uh, trauma, you know, mm -hmm. I would say PTSD that he yeah. has that got in him so bad. Well, now the book is, you know, for everyone that's just joining in, you know, this is the release of a Kevin's uh, memoir and it's called Till the Last. This here tells about his experience in the Malaysian War and the different things that, you know, that he experienced. And we talked the other day about, uh, you know, how, you know, that the writing the book brought back a lot of memories, but these things have been packed inside of him for years that he's been reliving over and over in his own life every day, but that the book has allowed him to express and tell about his experience. And one of the things we did the other day I was really impressed with is that, you know, we talked about the number of people that uh, is still living that he was in the war that was there in the war that remember him. Let's take and share that. I think that was really and when they discovered that you know, through the book that he was still alive. The other day after we uh, 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 on air last time, and uh, I say that a lot of uh, people was watching us. And uh, some of them, the children who was listening to us, you know, maybe the old, a lot of older people don't speak or don't uh, read in English, but the kid, the younger kid, they were watching us. And I uh, saw your background with the uh, the military outfit that he has on. And uh, he shared that with his father and said, Dad, come and look at this. He just dressing like you back then, you know, the old age. And the father said, that's my captain. That's a captain, Sun Ton. So he's still alive. And then he's, he, he called actually more than one person. I would say it's about four or five of them. So wow. he... Yeah, they call and they ask him, you still alive? So we want to see you. We thought that you were dead. You know, they because it's after the war, I guess they were separate. You know, they uh, been sending out to different parts of the, uh, the country and they never see each other. And then, you know, for the concentration camp, um, they put it, they put it, uh, people in different, you know, part of the uh, the country and then they they never heard of you know each other anymore mm. well this is a powerful story and everyone you've got to get a copy of this book because you know it talks about you know you know with kevin's journey the things he experienced and some of those things are going on right now and this is you know this is true facts and this is everybody's got a story you know that from kevin publishing his book you know, people that served with him in the military that they haven't seen each other since they left and not knowing the fate of anyone. And then to look up and see, you know, Kevin, I couldn't imagine that my son runs into the room and look at, you know, and talks about, you know, seeing this guy that's dressed like he used to dress and, and he comes to the, comes to the uh, computer and online and sees this Kevin and 
I can I can't it's hard for me it's like emotional just thinking about that feeling discovering someone that you didn't haven't seen and and out of mind you know out of sight out of mind and all of a sudden you look up and there he is and now sharing sharing his, the courage to share his story and the be able to look at the different things that's going on so anyone that's a martial artist or uh, anyone that's uh, military or anyone. And yes, and it, his story was featured in the Masters Magazine last month. So all my martial arts friends remember, so get a copy of the Masters Magazine. Uh, his story was featured there. And we have several other magazines in which his story is going to be featured in. So this is a really big deal. Uh, and people are recognizing the power of what Kevin's story, what it's been, what it's doing. So remember, if you want to see uh, an updated copy of what's going on, then you know Kevin's done a great job of uh, in his article in the Masters Magazine. And in the next magazine that we have coming out, the Martial Arts Extraordinaire, uh, we'll have a feature in there uh, with Kevin in also. But just think about, you know, Devon, if 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 this book hadn't happened, he wouldn't have made that magazine. If this if we that book if the book hadn't happened, we wouldn't even be engaged in this in this conversation. And if the right. book had not have happened, you guys would not be an Amazon bestseller from your story. This magazine is really master. Mm -hmm. It's masterpiece. You know that uh, people listen. You know, listen to his story. So his story, he's just telling, you know, out from his heart, his memory, the best he could. And different people was listening to, and they have different idea. They have different will of the story. So it's mixed, you know, emotion and the uh, interest in this, in the book, in the uh, Till the Last. And, uh, you know, Craig Curtis, you know, he spot because he was in the martial arts. So when he listened to the story and a uh, uh, Gene T-Bone and who owned a uh, uh, dojo in uh, Stockton. So he was listening to it. And then he, you know, uh, he know what Kevin was talking about, what Captain Sun Ton was talking about. And then they will, uh, I can't tell, I don't know because I wasn't in the, uh, the martial art. So when they listen to that, they ask a detail on how he used, you know, what did he, he learn and how does he apply into the war? You know, um, how did he use, how does he survive? Have to be some sort of technique that he was in capture in the pit hole, dark pit hole for five years or six years. How do you survive? Have to be some sort of technique, you know? And then, uh, so they interview and they got him into the book, and this is really, really good book, you know, and has a, a lot of uh, um, master who is in the uh, martial art in here. And uh, he's really happy to be on here. This is the masterpiece on him and on his family too, that he was able to get on this, this magazine. So beside the, the real book too, you know, and we were so happy that we were showing everybody. We just show off. He was loving, you know, he carried the book with him to show off to a friend or family that I am in here and my name is on here. You know, that, that's really amazing. That's another journey, you know, adding, you know, to, you know, his life in his book. To I tell didn't ask you guys, but do you guys have a copy of the book there? We got two copies. So we got, have, all right, yeah. great, great. Can we you have a can you show us a copy? He, uh, talking okay. about a master? Uh, the book, the magazine, book? Till the, the Last. Book? The yeah. book is so pretty. Oh, wow. You know, the I haven't even received my copy yet. <clears throat> That's the hardcover. That looks beautiful. The book is so pretty. We show off to everybody, you know, wherever, you know, we go. And they said this is really, really, really pretty books. And, you know, everybody wants to have one. And we have a friend and our uh, family here in town. They already call in. They said, yeah, you know, we want one, we want two. Some of them want five for the family <laughs> member. They, they, they said, how do you do that? How do you, you know, uh, where do you get those ideas? Uh, so we, 
you know, we have an experience. <laughs> yeah, we have... lead. We'll break it. We can break it down for, but again, I am uh -huh. so excited for you guys. And so what I'm going to do is seek and I pull up uh, here and share my screen with everyone. And everyone, I, I really want you to really, it's, it's really about their book, their decision to write, but they have turned a story that was embedded uh, in Kevin's mind and in his heart and his and in his soul for you know many years, but given the opportunity to be able to release that the amazing things that's happening in their lives. Not only I'm not just talking about you know the financial end of being a best-selling author or selling books, but the way that their story is now impacting the their their community is impacting the world. And more and more people can see that my story can actually make a difference in the world. So I am going to see, can I pull up here on my screen? Because Natalie sent me several things here today and she wasn't able to make it. So I'm just going to pull up here on my screen and let me share it. And everyone, this is really, you know, this is really exciting. Uh, boom, here we go right here. All right, if you can see my screen, you know, so Devon, this is what you guys have been able to able to do uh, in uh, number one hot releases. You know, you have uh, six uh, here in, in the U.S. and you got six in Australia and the number one best sellers, you have a total of 18 and you have six in the U.S., nine in Canada and again, three uh, this is this is international bestsellers in the three uh, in Australia. So you have a total of achievement of 24 uh, in number one and Amazon bestsellers. So give yourselves a hand, guys. You know, I, I am so proud. I'm so proud to be connected to your book. And uh, this has just been truly phenomenal. And everyone, this book is on Amazon. Uh, you can go to Amazon. The name of the book is Till the Last. Get a copy of the book. The uh, Kindle version of the book is still 99 cent. Get a copy. This is a this is a transformational story. You know, we're dealing with things happening in Ukraine. These things are real. The people that is happening to are real people. And you know, from you know, even from Ukraine, there's going to be real stories. Uh, that's going to be coming back. And writing is one way uh, for of therapy that you can get this out of your head, out of your heart, and put it down on paper. And, you know, and and, and I know that, uh, let's talk just for a moment. We're not going to keep it super long today because everyone, we just want to tell you to go to the website. Uh, the, the website is till the last. Go to Amazon, purchase a copy. Again, if you don't want, you know, it's in hardcover. It's in soft cover and it's on Kindle. So we've got the Kindle for 99 cent. Go and check out this amazing book. But let's talk about, let's go back to that story of uh, Kevin opening, getting the first book, opening that first box. Because I can relate to it. Every time I have a book that come in and you know I'm, I'm anxious and that's what I said, you guys, actually, I don't even have a copy of the book and I'm the publisher. I don't have a copy yet. You guys already have the hard cover, so I'm excited about it. But let's talk a little bit about that excitement because be, everyone, when you become an author and you see your work for the very first time and you realize that people around the world are buying your books, they're reading your stories, and that your story can impact someone else's life, you know, that that is that's truly amazing. So tell me about it, Kevin. Uh, now, Kevin, you cannot cry. Okay, no cry. Okay, no cry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's, you know, hard enough, you know, for 42 years, you know, that he kept all of those story, you know, within himself. I can imagine that it must be like a heavy load, you know, on his shoulder. So he, you know, since the day we met, he always talked about, you know, here and there, you know, like today's the last day, you know, this is the best meal that I never thought I would have. This is the best moment that I thought that I'd never see. You know, those kind of things, it just, 
make me think that this man has so much within him, you know, and then um, that when I digging out, you know, more from what he's experienced. And he said, I want to tell the world, I want to tell everyone, I want everyone to know and to hear what I have or what I know. So if I keep it within myself and then no one will know. So for my people who's uh, about my age, most of them didn't survive and they all die. And this story is gonna die with me and die with my generation. So he, he mentioned that one of the professor at the Fresno State uh, talked to him when he first got into the United States that they want to publish his book. They want to be a sponsor, but you know, he doesn't have uh, you know, uh, courage you know, to go forward and uh, do a lot of stuff. And then and that many years ago. So when we, you know, get together, then he's able to, you know, then we able to come out. It, it took us, you know, two years, you know, to get, dig it out, you know, from him because he doesn't want to remember. Many things, many things was missing. Many things was just disappear. You know, who want to remember the bad stuff that happened to you, right? And then who wanted to remember someone, you know, got killed and, you know, torturing and those side of thing. I don't want to hear that either, but I have to, I have to listen, you know, to story in and out, day in and out. And almost I feel like I was one of the uh, prisoner of war, you know, being with him and next to him, nightmare and all of those. But even though we published a book, we done. And Jesse said, you're going to see the book. You're going to see the book. The book come in. I keep checking every day, checking every day. When the book going to come? When the book going to come? <laughs> I was standing water the front lawn and waiting for the UPS to drop. And then Kevin was walking back and forth. Said, we see the UPS. So we are just like, yeah, keep waiting for the toy to come, you know? And then here come one day. It was a package came. I know that, that that's a book, but I just can't open. I said, I can't open. The person, first person have to be Kevin. So when he got home and I sit him down and give him water and I'm, okay. Now I want you to open. I want to see how you feel, you know, when you have book in your hand. So tell me what it feel like. This is the book that you've been waiting for 42 years. Now all of those memory, you put them down here. Now you don't need to tell people anymore. So you give the book and then the book will tell and it will be more detailed that you don't miss you know, a lot of things like you try to remember and tell people yourself. And then you get shook up, you get crying and you can't tell the story, right? Here he is sitting down and acting like, you know, he's a martial man. Yeah, martial man, he's a soldier. You know, brave man, tough man in the world. Look at the book, right? Open up, oh my God. He had a hard time opening the book. When he opened up the book, he just stood up real fast. And he said, what's wrong? You know, he can't talk. He was stunned. I said, okay, come down, drink water, and then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll do it again. He couldn't do it. He was choking on water. Can't do it. It took us for only a couple of minutes, a couple of us, 10, 15 seconds. It took me, I don't know, maybe half an hour to get him on. And done for that day. No food, no water. He was filled up with his happiness. Tell you. And then since that day, he, he feel a lot better. I see him with happy face. That is like, you know, something has been lifted. It's a portion of it, the therapy work, hard work paid off. See the book, it's so pretty. It's is the best looking book that I ever seen in the whole entire life, <laughs> you know? And not just only that, Jesse, when you go to someone, you talk to friend or family member, or even to our neighbor, to say, this is my book. This is the story that I went through. I want to share. He went home yesterday. His mom, uh, 80 some years old, she's still alive. And uh, he showed her that, mom, this is, 
our story. Wow. This is a family story. Father's in there, uncle's in there, our story's in there. And when she opened up, mom cried. Wow. Mom cried, mom said, I thought your father, your uncle dead. And then this is, it's just like you bring them back to life. And she didn't even think that she will live to see this day. Wow. wow. Their legacy. What a testimony. That is, that is, that is, you know, that that is that is powerful. I said, I'm I am so happy for you guys. And hold that book up again for me so I can see it again. All right, everyone. So remember, this is till the last. Wow, you know, hey Kevin, I, I am I am so uh I, I'm I'm grateful that you know that God has blessed me and Natalie and our team and Todd and and uh Craig and Jim and all the other people that's been behind the scenes to to manifest this uh you know this story. But again, you know, you guys, you guys, you know, you have a beautiful book, uh, you know, it's an Amazon bestseller, it's an international you know, bestseller. And everyone, everyone has a story, but it just takes one person to share a story. You know, Kevin's book is already, is impacting his community. Uh, you know, I love that story of, you know, he's blessed to have his mom, you know, that she's still here and to be able to share, look what I've done. You know, I've gone back and I've told a story that the, I've told that story of, of how we have uh, about our struggle, about my struggle, what really happened from my perspective. And this is what we're saying to everyone, you know, tell your story, being able to, to tell it in a book, to be able to share that with something. This is so powerful. Uh, and if you're listening to this and, and if you've listened, listened all the way through, you know, you can probably feel that emotional side of what this book has been able to manifest in his life. Now, remember, it's an Amazon bestseller. Now, remember, I think about all the people all the world that's actually reading this book now, that has it in their books, on their book, on their book shelf, or they have it on their Kindle. Uh, again, you can go to the website. Uh, their website for the book is uh, uh, till the best, uh, uh, till the, I'm sorry, till the last, till the last uh, yep. dot com. Go to Amazon and pick up a copy of the book. Uh, in our post here today, there's a link there. Uh, support this cause and pick up a copy of this book. Any last words from you guys? Uh, I personally want to thank uh, our team. We got a good publisher that uh, been helping us, you know, from thick and thin, from beginning until the book come. You know, is this is really a good experience, you know, for us, for both of us. And this is all news, you know, coming into this country and hard enough to uh, make a living and, um, you know, try to keep um, our family together and then making a book even harder. And then this is all new experience to us. And, but we have a good team, you know, that make us, you know, come through. And we, when we see the book, and I couldn't, I couldn't ask for more. Same as Kevin, speechless, can't ask for more. Thank well, you, uh, our thank team. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, guys. You. Thank you. And guess what? We'll be reaching back out uh, again. You guys are going to be. And uh, look, you know, Kevin already before the book came out, after the book was submitted, he's already received one award, and that was the Take Center Stage Award uh, for the manuscript when the, before the book was ever released. And now, like I said, you know, in this next month, uh, when we announce the, uh, we're going to be doing the awards presentation, and that now he gets an award for being a best-selling international, not just a best-selling author, but a best-selling international author. So, hey, look, welcome to the big league, guys. Welcome to the big league. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys enjoy. Everyone, remember, go to Amazon, get a a copy of the Kindle. Uh, it's only 99 cent. You know, Today's go, the last go, day, right? Yes. So you need to go out and do it today because this special opportunity 
is going to be ending. The book is going to be going back up. It's $9.99 uh, on the Kindle. So remember, get your copy and everyone be blessed. And guys, we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you again. Thank you. You're welcome.